Guten Abend, sehr verehrte Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our highly up-to-date media commentary today. BRICS. The supremacy of the USA continues to erode. Fortaleza, Brazil. No, this time it's not the Football World Cup, but a conference of the so-called BRICS states. BRICS, that is, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. On the agenda, the creation of a new development bank and a monetary fund to face the financial crisis decoupled from the US-directed World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, IMF. What happened there just now might definitely not be favored by the USA and their Western allies. Already in the year 2009, on a conference in Jekaterinburg in Russia, the Russian President Putin tried to move the participants to form a counter-movement to the Bretton Woods agreements. The aim was to create a counterweight to the US-dominated institutions IMF and World Bank. Now in Brazil, the BRIC states agreed upon forming an alternative to the Western system dominated by the USA. So, the Development Bank of BRICS is going to be equipped with an initial base of 50 billion US dollars to promote infrastructure projects and sustainable development. With additional billions from Moscow and Beijing, this creates a realistic competition and danger for the so far dominating World Bank. In addition to that, the states agreed upon the establishment of an own monetary fund for the equivalent of 100 billion US dollars deposits of several reserve currencies, equipped with 41 billions from China, each 18 billions from Brazil, India and Russia, and 5 billions from South Africa. The fund is intended to especially prevent the capital flight from the BRICS states, which, according to their opinion, is initiated time and again by the policy of the IMF. But what does such a decision mean, not only for the BRICS states, but also for the West? Basically, the creation of these two institutions is a long overdue strike on the field of geopolitics against the US-directed financial dictatorship worldwide through the US dollar. With an own development bank and an own monetary fund, according to the opinion of insiders, they are initiating a new geopolitical age. Especially the Russian President Putin acts very skillfully here concerning this conference in Fortaleza and his other meetings in Latin America these days. He did not only meet with Brazil's President Dilma Rousseff to discuss the key points of the Development Bank and Monetary Fund, he also used uh, the time to talk to African representatives concerning the use and their national currencies for trade between both states, to meet with Cuba's heads of state Raul and Fidel Castro, and release Cuba from 36 billion US dollar debt. Furthermore, he met with the head of state from Uruguay, Pepe Muxia, concerning the construction of a deep sea port with Venezuela's head of state, Nicolas Maduro, and Bolivia's president, Evo Morales. In the eyes of Washington, almost all enemies of the USA. Together with China, also on diplomatic tour through South Africa, Russia desires to reach a swing to a multipolar world and decrease and narrow the impact, the power and control of the USA on the rest of the world, and thus to create a sort of alternative strategy to the present development of the US-steered capitalism. Even if it's still a long way to go for the BRICS states, because they will have to solve a lot of still open problems, the analysts in Washington have every reason for great worry. For it's the loss of dominance of the petrodollar, which makes the financing of the USA through the other states by dollar creation become more difficult. After the BRICS states have now founded an own institution, the reaction of the USA should be closely observed. Will there be cyber attacks, threats, embargoes, or even war? It's no wonder the American president is forcing the EU states to sanctions against Russia and would love to see Russia involved in a war against Ukraine. 
Well, stay tuned with the reporting. You also. Think about it. This really does not bode well. Therefore, it's important to observe the following developments even more attentively. Thank you very much for your attention and your thinking, and we will be delighted to greet you again on our channel next time. Have a good evening.